Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! They've scored! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus, but this game has already taken on a real attacking edge, and long may that continue perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare it's, it's clear that the keeper was incited by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that it was too late Manchester United go ahead one goal to the good Pavon goes looking. Phillips. Sancho. Good ball. Manchester United scored early, of course, and the score is 1-0. Pavon, foot in, Juan Bissaka did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Tries to get it forward quickly. Marcus Rojo hoists it forward. Oh, good interception. Phillips. Rashford. Rashford! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. rather wayward all he'd be thinking is please ground swallow me up Marcus Rojo Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo gets it, and now what? Bruno Fernandes! He's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Cristiano Ronaldo certainly could have and should have made more of that.
first half is done. Here we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. And the opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Manchester United, I suspect, will be a little irked that they haven't established a, a bigger lead. However, they have the ability and personality to fix that. Manchester United is playing in for half time. position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Forward it goes. Done very well to intervene. Sancho. Found his man. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Really well taken goal. A two goal lead and they're firmly in control. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. It was real venom in the striker and clear composure from the placement. Boca Juniors are making a change now. Manchester United take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. And it's played forward. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now surely! Cristiano, great leap! Bruno Fernandes.
out once more. Pavon. He's left his man. Bruno Fernandes. And it's Shaw. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. Shaw up to meet it! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Marcus Rojo. Pavon. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Defending was strong and firm. And that's it. Solid, if not especially fancy. Always in control, they did enough to win it. But Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.